Всех вещь. Я, uh, я наверное, не заметила, да, и распечатала старый. Uh, Костя... А, у него там uh, перенос оценок за два года, правильно я понимаю? Это тот Костя, да? Или нет? Да, 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 это он. Ладно, я его отмечу, там посмотрим. Так, Егор, Егор Костенко, это не у нас, правильно? Это что я вообще старый, наверное, список распечатала. Это очень старый и первый самый неправильный. Ага, все, тогда я сейчас прочитаю по старому списку, а вы мне, пожалуйста, исправляйте, если не сложно. Так, Арсений Костромин. Есть. Есть. Присутствует. Угу. Денис Ленко. Присутни. Угу. Соня, я видела. Яна. Присутня. Так. Стефан, музыка. Присутни. Есть. Саша Нахаев. А, нет, наверное, да, у нас его. Так, удаляю. А, Оксана Неделька. Есть. Есть. Руслан Нижнец. На месте. Олейщенко. Угу. Так, Рина есть, Паша. А, Вин бросил продать мне трошечки за песницу. Добрый. Так, Оля Павловщенко. Присутня. Угу. Папка. Ну, то есть бачила, да? да? Есть Олег. Марина Пархоменко. Да, есть. Есть. Саша Пойди. Немая. Илья Плосток. Присутствует. Угу. Рухлядев, Саша. Присутний. Угу. Так, Самуню. Такой же пачка, я. Угу. Таня. Так, Артем Станков на базе. Не на базе. Він Прошу. доезжает до базы. Доезжает до базы. Добре. Так, Сулима, Юра. А вот я на базе. На базе. Прекрасно. Никита Черников, я бачила, я, да? Так, и на... Присутні. Так, чудо. Ви більше було пропустили, якщо я все правильно зрозумів. Ще що? Ви Соблоцького, здається, пропустили. Старий список, да, щось допишу. Угу. Соболевський. Глеб, да? Якщо я правильно помню. Угу. Да, да, я буша. Угу, хорошо. Так, ну що, відкривайте матеріали на сьогоднішній пару, як ви вже заметили, тема у нас профподготовка, да, trainings and apprenticeships. Сейчас мы с вами обсудим парочку вопросов, послушаем аудио, Кальченко присутний, прекрасно, почитаем немножко и начнем с вопросов для разогрева, да. Итак, блок A, кто нам почитает их? Please raise your hands. Егор, you're welcome with the questions. Так, я буду ставить плюсики за каждую активность, и потом, собственно, so, вижу... Discuss как... these questions. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, what courses have you attended recently, which have uh, been the most rewarding? Rewarding. What is meant by rewarding, Igor? Uh, которые больше... Ну, в этом контексте, которые больше всего принесли Yeah, it вам... means useful. Mm -hmm. да. Exactly. Good. Let's go on. Which mm -hmm. format of training do you prefer in groups, online, or individual training with a coach? Mm -hmm. What are Maybe self-study, face-to-face study, educational workshops, whatever. Mm -hmm. And what, what are the pros and cons of each? Okay, and last question. Uh, have you ever done a work uh, placement as part of a training program? Mm -hmm. If so, how useful was it? Yeah, okay. If not, uh, is it a good idea? Yes, to do work placement as a training. Uh, what is uh, a work placement, by the way? Арина, да, 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 ну это трудоустройство на ограниченный срок для получения определенного опыта, практического больше, mm -hmm. да, для um, школьников, да, для тех, кто закончил школу. Okay, so let's discuss. Who wants to answer the first question? <coughs> Никита Черников, you're welcome. Угу. 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 Окей. Соня, мой стренка. 
the same question. Yeah, we're gonna stay with this question, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, right. So, uh, are we going to talk about courses uh, at university, right? Mm -hmm. Not university. Any any courses you attended recently? Oh, I thought it's about university, like course. No, no, no. no. Mm -mm. Well, then you I want to tell me about university courses. You're welcome. No problem. Oh, okay. So I'm going to tell about database course we had in the third semester. It was my favorite course from the third semester. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really liked this course because it had a lot of information. And I guess that our practice um, was the tasks for practice uh, were better than uh, other tasks for other courses. And I gained, personally, I gained a lot of new information to use in my future job. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sonia. Rina, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. We're going to stay with this question? Uh, yes, if you want, you can answer this question or you can switch okay. to another one. Let's do the first one, okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and some of our students in our group mm -hmm. we do attend uh, DevOps courses right now, like from like for two months, uh, we, it's courses in IT company, Symphony mm -hmm. Systems, and we just studied in all the DevOps stuff, all the tools that they use, all the DevOps practices, just, it's some kind of uh, DevOps trainee. Mm -hmm. Have you paid for these courses or are they for free? Um, we are rewarded by money of, oh, okay. for these courses, yeah. Nice, okay. It's just uh, like a work placement for these courses. Are there any minuses? No. <laughs> no? They yeah, even cool. gave us uh, notebooks. Oh, perfect. Good. Thank you, Rina. Well, let's switch to the next question. Maxim, you're welcome. Um, so... Uh, as for me, I prefer uh, and I think that uh, individual training with a coach uh, is the most efficient uh, format for training. By the way, mm -hmm. uh, what are the pros courses, of individual training? Uh, yeah, pluses. Can we use pluses for individual of individual training? Uh, you can always ask uh, the questions uh, you're interested in without thinking that uh, you're slowing down uh, the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you're uh, working with uh, some certain person, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you're, uh, you're working uh, like uh, in a team and uh, it's much uh, easier to understand uh, some uh, of the material mm -hmm. okay that's all max uh, by the way uh, online uh, online courses is much easier to put uh, in your schedule so uh, both of them uh, have uh, some good uh, sides okay Glasses. Um, Marina Parhominka. Mm -hmm. So, which format of training do you prefer? Groups, yeah. online, video, self study? Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, it depends. <laughs> it's really, really a tough question. Like, we even have, like, you know, because if you even have uh, one subject this semester where the teacher was trying to help us understand why working in a group is so important and you have to learn how to work in a group because you know not all people have communication skills and these type of things so it actually depends on what type of work you're doing okay <clears throat> like this yeah thank you uh stefan yes uh i pure uh group training um, mm -hmm. 
because I think that uh, it uh, more it is more uh, useful for people uh, to understand uh, what what do you want to understand uh, the material if uh, because you can ask someone uh, to uh, cooperate with someone uh, and um, for me group training uh, <laughs> the top skills here yeah, which are important and one first yes. and mm -hmm. it motivates me to work and to uh, study uh, mm -hmm. but uh, but pros uh, disadvantages disadvantages of this is uh, that Cons, minus da, cons, so minus ah, cons, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that um, you uh, can you can do, do, uh, you can um, you you can uh, mm -hmm. um, you cannot do. I want to say that you can not do. Yeah, do it. Ну, типу, ти можеш не робити щось. You can... you can lose your homework, for example, and uh, uh, a coach can uh, pass you... Uh, you can skip your home task. Uh -huh. It is not uh, a strict uh, no -win. You can... Uh -huh. Well, okay. Uh, so let's move to the next question. Uh, work placement, yeah? Uh, Gleb Sabalevsky, you're welcome. <clears throat> Gleb. Yes. The last question is for you. So, uh... Now I never done a work placement as a part of training program. You haven't done a work placement. Okay, but uh, <clears throat> is it a good idea, yes, to do a work placement? Uh, yes, I think it's a really good idea because uh, you gain a practic, uh, practical skills, pra practical yeah. skills uh, in your field, of, in your study field. Yeah, exactly. Vita, the question do you want to answer? Uh, yes, so I've never done. We can choose one of these questions. Part of training program, uh, but um, I have some thoughts about it. So I think it's a great idea because you will um, you will learn some new information with uh, your coaches, with your mentors, and uh, when you um, when you finish your um, your course. Uh, mm -hmm. You will work with your mentors as uh, with your mm, teammates, with your soulmates, and uh, it's uh, easier because um, you have some time uh, mm -hmm. and uh, to create uh, convenient uh, space around you. Okay. Uh, well, let's switch to the block. B, yeah, and let's clarify what is uh, apprenticeships. Who knows? What does apprent apprenticeship stand for? No one knows? Okay, let's read the task. Arseny, you're welcome. Arseny, uh, what, what are saying? Read the task from Blog B. Please. Uh, what do you think uh, are the benefits of uh, apprenticeships mm -hmm. for the apprentice and uh, B for the employer? Mm -hmm. uh, listen to the first part of an interview with Dr. Bern mm -hmm. at the stand. Uh, uh, executive of uh, German industry. Executive. Chief executive. Yeah, of German industry. Chief yeah. Executive mm -hmm. of German industry. UK mm -hmm. and check your answers. Так, хорошо, если вы не знаете, что такое apprenticeship, сейчас мы послушаем и узнаем, и потом ответим на эти вопросы. Поехали. 
Юра, да, ну розкажи. Да. Ну, я, я не підняв руку. Словом, мені здається, що це може бути синонімом до uh, work placement, ну, щось типу цього. Work placement, да, типу того, стажування, да, яке може бути оплачуване частково, да, на певний срок і так далі. Зараз послухаємо більш детальніше, вмикаю аудіо і слухаємо. Так, зараз хвилиночку. Так, станков на базі, так, прекрасно. І Паша. Угу. Поїхали. Track 6. What are apprenticeships and why are they useful? An apprentice is a young person training at a an office or in a factory or in a warehouse and they're useful because the employers hopefully uh, train them to become permanent employees they will then show loyalty to the company because it's been trained by the company and uh, and overall uh, it gives the uh, young apprentice uh, uh, a focus in life uh, They get an allowance, certainly in Germany, a uh, uh, monthly allowance uh, to keep them going. So overall... Так, секундочку, отвлеку вас. Allowance, кто не знал, то это то же самое, что payment, да, какая-то оплата. Дальше слушаем. Certainly, we in German industry feel uh, the whole idea of apprenticeships is a worthwhile exercise for both employers and for the young apprentices. Training. Track six. What are apprenticeships and why are they useful? An apprentice is a young person training at a, an office or in a factory or in a warehouse. And they're useful because the employers hopefully Uh, train them to become permanent employees. They will then show loyalty to the company because it's been trained by the company. And uh, and overall, uh, it gives the uh, young apprentice uh, uh, a focus in life. Uh, they get an allowance, certainly in Germany, uh, a monthly allowance uh, to keep them going. So overall, uh, certainly we in German industry feel Uh, the whole idea of apprenticeships is a worthwhile exercise for both employers and for the young apprentices. Okay, so what are the benefits of apprenticeships for the apprentice? First of all, who wants to answer one? Please raise your hand. Artyom, you're welcome. So Luis, uh, the benefits, yes. yeah. Okay. Uh, the benefits are that they get a monthly allowance yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. they get uh, a goal in life. The, the goal, the uh, maybe a focus in life, was said, yeah, it gives a focus in life, uh, yeah, maybe the, focus in life. the goal, that's the same, yes, okay, mm-hmm. and uh, what uh, else? And so they have the job place abroad. Uh, abroad uh, or, or in the own country. The own country, yes. Uh, so uh, the apprentice can get the cha- uh, can have the chance to get the job, yes. Get some practical skills, yeah, allowance and focus in life. Okay, what about the employer? Bonus for employers. Artyom. Uh, me again. Uh, the employer gets uh, a new employee uh, mm-hmm. and uh, he can uh, uh, train. And this employee or, will probably be uh, loyal, yes? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, he will be loyal and uh, he will, he can train, uh, show him And uh, in the future, uh, he or him can become uh, an official, like full-time uh, employee uh, yeah. of the company mm-hmm. and uh, yes. provide uh, the value. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, next exercise. C. Block C. Um, who will read the task? Ruslan Yezhenets. Read the task of Block C. Please. Uh, listen uh, to the second part uh, of the interview and uh, complete this uh, senten- uh, sentences using uh, no more uh, than uh, four words in each cup. Uh, 
Я four words in each gap. Окей. Так, слухаємо другу частинку і потім будемо зупиняти пропуски. Поїхали. Unit 2. Training. Track 7. Can you give us some examples of how apprenticeships work in Germany? Apprentices in Germany are usually school leavers age 16. And about 60% uh, of all school leavers age 16 uh, become apprentices. Uh, the rest uh, goes uh, into higher education, either uh, into uh, colleges or into universities. So the majority become apprentices. Uh, most of them want uh, to go into well-known companies like BMW, uh, Mercedes, Siemens. Once they get uh, a training uh, job or employment as an apprentice, they then uh, sign an employment contract, uh, which uh, tells them how many hours they have to work, how long the employment period is, uh, usually two years, you can extend to extend to three and a half years. And then it sets down how much allowances the company pays, pays them. And they spend usually three to four days in the company and one to two days uh, in a vocational school, which is uh, usually in the same uh, place, uh, town or city. How does your organization promote apprenticeships in the UK? There's no solid uh, training program for all apprentices right across the UK, which we have in Germany. We have uh, a training act. Uh, we have 340 recognized uh, skills in Germany from uh, apprentices uh, in offices uh, uh, to apprentices in a factory on the conveyor belt. And and we have uh, a recognized, so to speak, profession, uh, skills profession, which uh, we are very proud of. Uh, we have uh, two labels uh, we are proud of in industry, trained in Germany and made in Germany. And we would like, all of us in German industry in UK, would like to have the dual training system as described. And we are now working with the government here on uh, some sort of system which is similar to our dual training system. Dual training system – это у нас, когда учеба объединяется с практикой. Можно и учиться, и практиковаться. Так, слушаем еще раз. Track 7. Can you give us some examples of how apprenticeships work in Germany? Apprentices in Germany are usually school leavers age 16. And about 60% uh, of all school leavers age 16 uh, become apprentices. Uh, the rest uh, goes uh, into higher education, either uh, into uh, colleges or into universities. So the majority become apprentices. Uh, most of them want uh, to go into well-known companies like BMW, uh, Mercedes, Siemens. Once they get uh, a training uh, job or employment as an apprentice, they then uh, sign an employment contract uh, which uh, tells them how many hours they have to work, how long the employment period is. Uh, usually two years, you can extend to, extend to three and a half years. And then it sets down how much allowances the company pays, pays them. And they spend usually three to four days in the company and one to two days uh, in a vocational school, which is uh, usually in the same uh, place, uh, town or city. How does your organization promote apprenticeships in the UK? There's no solid uh, training program for all apprentices right across the UK, which we have in Germany. We have uh, a training act. Uh, we have 340 recognized uh, skills in Germany from uh, apprentices uh, in offices uh, uh, to apprentices in a factory on the conveyor belt. And, and we have 
uh, a recognized, so to speak, profession, uh, skills profession, which uh, we are very proud of. Uh, we have uh, two labels uh, we are part of in industry, trained in Germany and made in Germany. And we would like, all of us in German industry in UK, would like to have the dual training system as described. And we are now working with the government here on uh, some sort of system which is similar to our dual training system. <clears throat> Oksana? Yes? Yeah, uh, thank you. Sorry. Yes, on first sentence for you. Um, about 60% uh, of school leavers is 60, 16 years old. Mm, no. Mm -mm. The first part is right. Yes, about 60% of school leavers. Then you can help us, Alek. At uh, age 16, I heard. What do they do? What do school leavers do? They become apprentices. Yeah, they go into an apprenticeship or become apprentices. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's go on. Next sentence. Alek. Uh, <clears throat> the majority of apprentices like to work for uh, Mercedes and Siemens. Uh, okay, but uh, these words uh, come after, for example, yes, and before, for example, uh, that for um, what kind of companies? Car, uh, How do you describe these fabrics? companies? No, fabrics, maybe well known. Producers. Yes. As I remember, well known companies, for example, yeah, BMW, Mercedes, and Siemens. Ciao, mm Nadia. -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, apprenticeships programs in Germany usually last uh, two years uh, or uh, three three and a half years. And, yeah, between, and, between two and uh, three yep. and a half years. And, and uh, apprentices, uh, apprentices, apprentices. apprentices get a low one to start. <clears throat> fixed. Um, sorry, could you repeat, please? Uh, they get allowance. Allowance. Mm -mm. Yep. First of all, from the start, they officially do something. Щось вони там роблять, щоб відносини з компанією якось на законному рівні затвердити, да? Що вони там роблять? Ну, як вона робота йде, ти що ви робите спершу? Sign a contract. Yeah, exactly. Sign a contract. Yes, at the start. Thank you, Alek. Ola Pavlushenko. Uh, apprentices tend to work from two uh, to four a days and spend okay. uh, from one to uh, doing their uh, vocational training. Yeah, vocational training. Shout um, out, I mean this uh, sentence. From okay, you, you knock, Nikita. Uh, apprenticeships are well established in Germany. There even exists a training uh, program. Uh, uh, including... Training actor, not a pro program, but uh, training actor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, training Woody? actor, including various offices. Uh, not from... offices. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Who remembers? I love this. Mm -hmm. Jana, can you help us? Um, including various. Like various kind like various uh, things something like this maybe it was said recognized skills yeah for different kinds of profession okay um nikita what is your mm -hmm. uh, germany is proud uh, of the two expressions trained mm -hmm. in germany and yeah. made in germany exactly you can go there and last one uh is for jana uh, yes, uh, they have been in talks with the government uh, to set mm -hmm. up a similar uh, system as they have uh, in the UK. Yeah, yeah, similar system or dual training system in the UK. Okay, thank you. So, we're going to go to the screen, and we're going to go to the screen. Now,
Так, Кирилл, якраз прийшов, Коваль, прочитати нам завдання. Я yeah, окей. Okay. Okay. Um, listen to four people, Brandon, Felix, Rachel mm-hmm. and Mariki, talking, mm-hmm. uh, talking about their training, training experience. Write mm-hmm. B, F, R or M for each initial question and answer the second one. The second one, okay. Let's go, let's do it. Unit 2. Training. Tracks 8 to 11. Uh, так, секундочку, давайте я перезагружусь, чтобы меня не выдало где-нибудь в серединке. Перезагружаемся. Достала, Саша. Так, секундочку. Двадцать шесть, да, человек? Можно начинать? Поехали. Угу. Unit 2. Training. Track 7. Unit 2. Training. Tracks 8 to 11. Brendan. I initially spent two days work experience while still at school, and then a further week at an electronics company when I was 16 years old. It was then that I decided to pursue an apprenticeship. I started working in 1992 as an apprentice technician. I was one of the first interns on the newly established apprentice scheme. I then spent four years in the workshop completing the apprenticeship and two more years working in the same company as a qualified technician. Since then, I've taken on numerous roles across different areas of the organization, including technical service, parts, marketing, sales, and the product department in Munich. What advice would I give to people starting out? Challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to take risks. And more importantly, do something you'll enjoy and believe in. I always get a buzz out of playing with a new technology. Falak. It was pure chance. I'd just finished my GCSEs and had enrolled into college to start studying for A-levels and take the normal degree route, hoping I would find a job to do with engineering when I'd finished. But then I saw an ad in an aeronautical magazine about apprenticeships at Rolls-Royce. At first, my parents were worried that I'd be missing out on a decent education, going off to work when I'd just turned 16. But I'd be going to college, getting good qualifications and spending time working on planes, all whilst being paid. I completed my apprenticeship in 2001. I then progressed to senior technician, and I'm now a master technician. The thing I find most rewarding is the satisfaction of knowing that you fix something. I love working at the head office because I'm involved in R&D, research and development and testing. I also get to work on some special models. It's just so innovative and high tech. If you want to work in the aeronautical industry, you have to aim high and go for it. Having a lot of enthusiasm is important too and will take you far. Rachel. After I left school with four A-levels, I went to do a degree in French with business studies at York University. My university studies also include... Who knows, who knows, it's an educational course for preparation for university, which is often two years. It's in Britain, it's an A-level. She says that she finished four such courses. Let's move on, there's still more information in the script. Included a 12-month placement working for a Swiss drinks company in their research and technology department in Zurich. Um, after graduating in 2002, I joined the UK graduate program. What's my advice? Um, I'd say you need to have passion for what you do, as well as having a good understanding of what's going on in the marketplace. Um, this applies to anything you want to do, not just in the food and beverages industry. I think it's important to explore all avenues open to you. You need to do lots of research to find out what options are available to you before you can make your mind up. 
<clears throat> Marika. I've just finished studying for a linguistics degree at Madrid University. Um, I speak English and Spanish as well as German. Tomorrow I've got an interview lined up with an international marketing company here in Madrid for a work placement, an internship for the summer. It's only for three months and I'm not sure how much I'll get paid yet. Interns back home get paid on average about 500 euros per month, which is quite good really. But I'm prepared to accept this internship for less. I'm also thinking about doing a master's degree in marketing. So I'll ask them about future prospects, um, training and job opportunities. Perhaps they might offer me a part-time job in the afternoons while I'm studying next year. I haven't got a clue about marketing, but I'm willing to learn. And I hope they don't expect me just to make photocopies and answer the phone. I think there are about 25 applicants for this post. So any advice would be welcome. Слушаем еще раз, потом читаем вопросы. Так как их очень много. Надо будет ответить на вопросы из секции И и из секции F. Потом послушаем еще раз. Будет три раза. Буду включать три раза. Да, значит, еще раз включаю, потом читаете вопросы. Unit 2. Training. Tracks 8 to 11. Brendan. I initially spent two days work experience while still at school and then a further week at an electronics company when I was 16 years old. It was then that I decided to pursue an apprenticeship. I started working in 1992 as an apprentice technician. I was one of the first interns on the newly established apprentice scheme. I then spent four years in the workshop completing the apprenticeship and two more years working in the same company as a qualified technician. Since then, I've taken on numerous roles across different areas of the organization, including technical service, parts, marketing, sales, and the product department in Munich. What advice would I give to people starting out? Challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to take risks. And more importantly, do something you'll enjoy and believe in. I always get a buzz out of playing with a new technology. Falak. It was pure chance. I'd just finished my GCSEs and had enrolled into college to start studying for A-levels and take the normal degree route, hoping I would find a job to do with engineering when I'd finished. But then I saw an ad in an aeronautical magazine about apprenticeships at Rolls-Royce. At first, my parents were worried that I'd be missing out on a decent education, going off to work when I'd just turned 16. But I'd be going to college getting good qualifications and spending time working on planes, all whilst being paid. I completed my apprenticeship in 2001. I then progressed to senior technician and I'm now a master technician. The thing I find most rewarding is the satisfaction of knowing that you fix something. I love working at the head office because I'm involved in R&D, research and development and testing. I also get to work on some special models. It's just so innovative and high tech. If you want to work in the aeronautical industry, you have to aim high and go for it. Having a lot of enthusiasm is important too and will take you far. Rachel. After I left school with four A-levels, I went to do a degree in French with business studies at York University. My university studies also included a 12-month placement working for a Swiss drinks company in their research and technology department in Zurich. Um, after graduating in 2002, I joined the UK graduate program. What's my advice? Um, I'd say you need to have passion for what you do, as well as having a good understanding of what's going on in the marketplace. Um, this applies to anything you want to do, not just in the food and beverages industry. I think it's important to explore all avenues open to you. You need to do lots of research to find out what options are available to you before you can make your mind up. Marika. I've just finished studying for a linguistics degree at Madrid University. Um, I speak English and Spanish as well as German. Tomorrow I've got an interview lined up with an international marketing company here in Madrid for a work placement, an internship for the summer. It's only for three months and I'm not sure how much I'll get paid yet. 
interns back home get paid on average about 500 euros per month, which is quite good, really. But I'm prepared to accept this internship for less. I'm also thinking about doing a master's degree in marketing. So I'll ask them about future prospects, um, training and job opportunities. Perhaps they might offer me a part-time job in the afternoons while I'm studying next year. I haven't got a clue about marketing, but I'm willing to learn. And I hope they don't expect me just to make photocopies and answer the phone. I think there are about 25 applicants for this post. So any advice would be welcome. Так, хочу, чтобы мы сейчас с вами прочитали вопросы из и из F секции, потом еще раз послушаем, будем отвечать. Так, кто нам прочитает, давайте это сделает Егор Кальченко. Okay, so uh -huh. just read the questions, yes, from okay. e F. And answer or no, no, just read, just read. Okay. Who began? Uh, first question. Who began as an uh, apprentice? Apprentice. 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 Uh -huh. apprentice. Start... What type of apprenticeship uh, was it? Okay. Who mm -hmm. was a university? Who had a university qualification? What in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, whose parents weren't happy that he or she was leaving school at sixteen, and why? Mm -hmm. uh, who was planning on going to university but didn't? Why? Who has worked uh, in a variety of areas in the mm -hmm. industry? Which ones? Mm -hmm. uh, who has no work experience? Why? Who worked abroad as a part of his her training? Where? Who mentions the most rewarding things about the job? What is mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And F. And F. Who gives the best advice for Embarking on the career. Mm -hmm. Embarking on the career. Это что такое у нас? Это как... начало карьеры, да, uh, для старта. Получить, Свет, начать карьеру. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Да, да. Дальше. What is it? Uh, what advice would you give uh, Marika? Oh, Marika. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give Marika. Так, думаю, нужно послушать еще раз, так как uh, выписать нужно будет или запомнить информации, в принципе, немало. И уже тогда начну спрашивать вас. Да, или, может, вы уже готовы. Думаю, надо еще разочек, да, чтобы все устаканить. Слушаем еще раз? Да, еще раз. Все, включаю. Unit 2. Training. Tracks 8 to 11. Brendan. I initially spent two days work experience while still at school and then a further week at an electronics company when I was 16 years old. It was then that I decided to pursue an apprenticeship. I started working in 1992 as an apprentice technician. I was one of the first interns on the newly established apprentice scheme. I then spent four years in the workshop completing the apprenticeship and two more years working in the same company as a qualified technician. Since then, I've taken on numerous roles across different areas of the organization including technical service, parts, marketing, sales, and the product department in Munich. What advice would I give to people starting out? Challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to take risks. And more importantly, do something you'll enjoy and believe in. I always get a buzz out of playing with a new technology. Falak. It was pure chance. I just finished my GCSEs and had enrolled into college to start studying for A-levels and take the normal degree route, hoping I would find a job to do with engineering when I'd finished. But then I saw an ad in an aeronautical magazine about apprenticeships at Rolls-Royce. At first, my parents were worried that I'd be missing out on a decent education, going off to work when I'd just turned 16. But I'd be going to college, getting good qualifications and spending time working on planes all whilst being paid. I completed my apprenticeship in 2001. I then progressed to senior technician and I'm now a master technician. The thing I find most rewarding is the satisfaction of knowing that you fix something. I love working at the head office because I'm involved in R&D, research and development and testing. I also get to work on some special models. It's just so innovative and high tech. If you want to work in the aeronautical industry, you have to aim high and go for it. Having a lot of enthusiasm is important too, 
and will take you far. Rachel. After I left school with four A-levels, I went to do a degree in French with business studies at York University. My university studies also included a 12-month placement working for a Swiss drinks company in their research and technology department in Zurich. Um, after graduating in 2002, I joined the UK graduate programme. What's my advice? Um, I'd say you need to have passion for what you do, as well as having a good understanding of what's going on in the marketplace. Um, this applies to anything you want to do, not just in the food and beverages industry. I think it's important to explore all avenues open to you. You need to do lots of research to find out what options are available to you before you can make your mind up. <coughs> to make a mind up. Как переводится? Кто подскажет? Принять решение. Да, отлично, да. Так, дальше. Marika. I've just finished studying for a linguistics degree at Madrid University. Um, I speak English and Spanish as well as German. Tomorrow I've got an interview lined up with an international marketing company here in Madrid for a work placement, an internship for the summer. It's only for three months and I'm not sure how much I'll get paid yet. Interns back home get paid on average about 500 euros per month, which is quite good really. But I'm prepared to accept this internship for less. I'm also thinking about doing a master's degree in marketing. So I'll ask them about future prospects um, training and job opportunities. Perhaps they might offer me a part-time job in the afternoons while I'm studying next year. I haven't got a clue about marketing, but I'm willing to learn. And I hope they don't expect me just to make photocopies and answer the phone. I think there are about 25 applicants for this post. So any advice would be welcome. So who wants to answer the first question? Please raise your hand. Pasha, yeah, you're welcome. So who began as an apprentice yeah. and what type of apprenticeship was it? I guess uh, it's B B Brandon. Brandon? Mm -hmm. What type? It, he was in turn in uh, the electronic company, maybe. Yeah, yeah, he was an electronics technician. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, who else began as an apprentice? Maybe it was uh, Falak. Falak, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what type of apprenticeship was it? Mm. It was some. Um, and that was a slogan, Slovada Avia Technic. Aeronautics, aeronautics technician. Da? Avia Technic. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, who has a university qualification? And uh, what in? Uh, Misha, Oleshenko, you're welcome. So, who has a university qualification? Uh, the university qualification uh, has uh, uh, Rachel. Rachel, uh huh. Uh, Rachel, what in? Uh, she has a degree in. She has a degree uh, in, in business studies. Yeah, business studies and. Uh, as I remember, uh, what language? I, I don't, uh, I, I didn't hear it in Genius. Mm -hmm. Lienko. Uh, mm, French. And French, yes. And, uh, uh, and uh, it was um, uh, Marik. Marika, uh, yeah. Uh, she, has, uh, she, she has a degree in uh, linguistics. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, she is specializing in what language? Uh, in German. In German. Good. Uh, thank you. Next question. Uh, whose parents were happy that he or she was leaving school at 16? And uh, why? Maxim. Uh, Falak's uh, parents uh, yeah. were mm -hmm. happy. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, they told... Uh, uh, it would be better for him to receive a decent uh, education. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were worried uh, that he can miss out on a decent education. Nice. Uh, next question. Um, who was planning on going to university but didn't? And why? Ruslan Nizhny. 
uh, it's uh, Falak uh, because Falak. he mm -hmm. Falak uh, because he sell and uh, it uh, aeronautics magazine about uh, apprend apprenticeship uh, with mm -hmm. Rolls Royce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's move on. Question number five. Who has worked in a variety of areas in the industry and which ones? List all the areas. Um, Kirill Kovac. Uh, I, mean, I think it was Brandon because um, he was working at the, the components of uh, the organizations, including technical, um, marketing, technical service, and yeah. others. List all the uh, spheres, please. Service, the uh, sales, <laughs> and parts. Uh, parts, uh huh. What else? Sales, parts, sales, technical service. service. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And, and uh, um, product department. Product department and uh, uh, marketing. I yeah, told. marketing. Yes, you're right. Marketing mm -hmm. good. Um, okay, next question. Mm -hmm. uh, who worked uh, abroad as part of his her training and where? Artyom Stankov. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, that was uh, Maria, because uh, she just uh, graduated. Uh, she, she just finished I, her degree. I skipped, I skipped uh, question. Okay, okay. Um, mm -mm. Who has no work experience here? Uh, mm -hmm. That's Marie, Marika, yes, because she has just graduated. Okay, and question number seven. Who worked abroad, uh, yes, as part of his or her training and where? Artem. Who worked abroad? Uh, abroad? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Rick working at uh, Zurich. Uh, sorry? Who worked abroad? I don't remember the name. I remember that uh, it was something yeah. about Zurich. Yeah, yeah, it was Rachel. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. um, who mentions the most rewarding thing about the job and what is it? Uh, Daniel Badenko. Um, I think it was uh, Falak. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. mm, what did he say? Uh, he uh, loves uh, fix something. Yeah, yeah. The satisfaction of knowing that uh, you can fix yes, something. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Mm. Well, and let's discuss all recommendations, yes, uh, for embarking on a career. Um, mm -mm. Kirill Koval. Yeah, I think that... Uh, what did Brandon say? Sorry, what? What did Brandon say? Uh, yeah, I, um, I wanted to talk about Brandon because uh, there are mentions about... Uh, Embarking on a career was uh, the most, uh, I think, uh, motivation um, for me uh, about challenging yourself, uh, taking more risks encouraging, and, yeah, and Not so on, and, and doing mm -hmm. uh, what uh, do you like the most, and what yeah, you said, case. challenge yourself, yeah, don't be afraid to take risks, yeah, and do yeah, what you and, like, uh, sure. doing something that you really enjoy believe in enjoy and believe in yes yeah okay thank you what about phallic words igor uh, well phallic uh, told that uh, you need to have a goal mm -hmm. and you need to be enthusiastic enthusiastic yes and uh uh, first of all, to aim high, yes, and go for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rachel. Alec. Tell okay. us what uh, the foundations. Uh, she said that uh, you have to have a lot of passion and understanding of what of what you're doing, mm -hmm. and uh, you got to do a lot of research uh, to figure out uh, which area you're interested in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. and decide okay. to work for. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marika, she just asked for advice, yes, as he has no work experience. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, and now let's complete um, 
the columns here. Uh, and exercise G, and uh, I will give you maybe five minutes to fulfill this exercise, and uh, then I will check it. Okay, так, упражнение следующее же. Заполняем пропуски. Пять минут еще. Ну, если раньше закончите, то поднимайте руку. Так, отлично. Марина, you're welcome. So, uh, the first word uh, is... Uh, first word is train, then yeah. as a noun, it's training. Yeah, exactly. And uh, person? Uh, that can be trainee or trainer. Yeah, exactly. Would uh, employ, Marina? Uh, employ, employment, employee or employer. Very good. Uh, thank you, Jana. Mm -hmm. Apprenticeship. Uh, apprenticeship and uh, apprentice. Person, apprentice, yeah. Mm -hmm. and and allow, uh, allowance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and and verb would be educate and, yes, educate uh, and person educator. Educator, good. Thank you, Jana. Ilya Plostak, you're welcome. Next word. And, um, uh, internship, uh, qualify qualification. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, Next. Place, placement. Yeah, thank you. And when they tell you? Advice. Так, advice. Now. Advice. Aha, we then change it to S and C, and yes, first. and uh, and wise. Advice, advice. Da, tam u nas v kinci O mění se na I, da. Jak šo I v kinci, to je u nas less formal. Word, yeah, yes, if you show them all, you can see a bit formal variant. Так, и остальные, Виталий. Okay, and the last, graduate. And the person? Graduate too. Yeah, yeah, graduate, good. Так, и переходим до наступного завдання. Також у нас пропуски. Просто розкриваємо Дужки і вибираємо правильну форму слова. Так, робимо разом чи дати час, щоб ви самі зробили? Я ну, я бачу, що разом, да? а? так? Так, чудово. Папка. Олег, починаємо з вас. Олег looks back on his internship with a great yeah. sense of achievement. Mm -hmm. uh, as a master technique. Uh, 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 yeah, technician. Mm -hmm. He's involved in research and uh, development. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Marina. Um, yeah. Felek had always had an interest in aviation, so he got in touch with his local career advisor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Danya, someone? Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, Felek has obtained uh, several um, qualifications. Yeah, in, uh, mm -hmm. in aeronational, Aeronaut aer aeronautical, aeronautical, maintenance, um, maintenance, maintenance, and 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 and Training, nice. Thank you, Vita. Mm, Rachel says being an intern uh, or doing a work um, placement. Work placement mm -hmm. uh, is a good way of getting some insight into an uh, an industry. Uh, okay. In you... uh, Перекладіть мені, будь ласка, цю фразу. Get some insights into. Отримання mm, деяко. Ну, не досвіду. Отримати певне уявлення, да? Про... Ага, уявлення про роботу mm -hmm. в... Промисловості, да? Mm -hmm. В галузі. Yeah. Так, далі. Even if you don't always get a monthly mm -hmm. allowance. Allowance, да. Mm -hmm. Так, mm -hmm. дякую. Далі, Максим. Uh, after finishing university, Rachel uh, went uh, on a graduation program. Uh, consisting of three different placements. 
Ну так, а з Bruiation нам потрібно відкрити дужки і щось змінити в цьому слові, так? Да? Uh, Як називається програма? Yeah, Maybe. ready program. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, at the end of the training, she was offered uh, an employment uh, yeah, uh-huh. as a sales analyst, analyst. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. and now works uh, as a product manager. Product manager. Okay, good. Так, перегортаємо стрічку, переходимо до читання. Так, почнемо з A. <coughs> так, 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 Саша, <coughs> рухляді, читаємо завдання і прочитаємо. Read, read the anecdote, an- anecdote, anecdote. Uh, mm-hmm. below uh, about the Chinese rich maker. Higher. Mm-hmm. Higher. Mm-hmm. these questions. Okay. Well, with the questions. What lessons did the new boss want? Uh, his employees to learn. Employees. Last uh, mm-hmm. uh, trust employees. Uh-huh. And uh, how would you react if a manager at your organization did something similar? Similar. Okay. Let's read. Create a destruction. <clears throat> Sash, Sash, Swamich then. Creative destruction. Uh-huh. Uh, Call, call it the legend of the sledgehammer. In yeah. 1985, uh, the yeah. Queen, yeah. Queen Dower Re- 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 mm-hmm. factory, a small enterprise in China's Shandong Pro- province, province? No, no, province, province. was in trouble. Mm-hmm. Sales mm-hmm. were simply steeping. Mm-hmm. Uh, customer uh, components were high and r- complaints, rising. Complaints, жалобы, да? Complaints were high and rising. Okay, переклады. Переклады. Так. Назвіться легендою. Назвіться легендою про Слэчхэма. Молоток, кувалды, да? Про кувалду, про молоток. У 1985-му uh-huh. завод... Завод виготовлення холодильників, так? Да? Завод виготовлення холодильників. Uh-huh. Маленька uh-huh. корпорація. Маленька компанія в провінції, так? Компанія в китайській провінції Шандон. У китайській провінції Шандон. Ну, так, так. Мало проблему. Мало проблему в продажі. Да, да. Продажі. Sleeping. Що робили? Падали. Да, продажі падали. Customer complaints were high and rising. А? Розплачі. Да. Росли і росли. Да, були високі. Да. Та росли. Так. Да. Добре, дякую. Далі почитаю нам. Nikita. The new boss, Jean Ruimin, a 36-year-old economist dispatched from the municipal government, decided to take a stand. Lining up mm-hmm. to 76 fridges found to be defective, uh, he demoli- demolished one with demolished. a sl- mm-hmm. sl- sledgehammer, uh, yeah. then ordered the shocked staff to destroy the rest. Okay, go on. Uh, the, the tale has... Mm? The tale has probably been um, embellished uh, yeah. in the telling, but uh, mm-hmm. it speaks volumes of Mr. Zhang's uh, determination. A quarter mm-hmm. of a century on, the chairman and CEO has transformed the biggest fridge maker in Shandong into the biggest fridge maker in the world. Mm-hmm. Along the way, he uh, has broadened the portfolio, higher yeah. sales, uh, more domestic appliances than any company in 19 product categories in China, and is the world's uh, first largest white goods group by sales. By sales. Okay. Uh, новый босс Жан Руймин, 36-річний економіст, um, mm-hmm. 
Угу, його направили. Який був направлений з, муні... з муніципальної влади, вирішив... Зайняти, скажімо так, жорстку позицію. Да? Зайняти жорстку позицію. Він знайшов... У... Розмі... Розмістив, поставив в лінію. Він да? постав... Постав... вистроїв лінію 86 холодильників, у яких угу. були знайдені, знайдені дефекти і угу. розб... розбив один кувалдою. Потім да, знищив. він так. наказав працівникам, да, які були шоко... да? шокованим Знищити? працівникам, угу. знищити інші холодильники. Да, інші холодильники. Добре, далі. А... Embellish. Це що значить? Embellish. Да. Прикра... Прекрасно. Трохи перебільшена, да? можливо. Історія була, можливо, да, трохи перебільшена, перебільшена але, але це говорить про да. об'єми містера Жан... Жанга. Ні, про його рішучість. Про а, рішучість про... містера. Рішучість містера Жанга. Угу. Um... Четверта частина... Ні, я... Speak volumes, да? це красноречиво о чому-то говорить, да? без слов. Speak, speaks uh-huh. volumes. А далі рішучість, там останні слова. Да? Uh-huh. Так. Четверта частина століття пройшла, і Чермен, і Сіо, і компанія... Гендиректор, да? І гендиректор трансформувалися у найбільшу компанію з Ні, гендиректор трансформував найбільшу компанію а. з виготовлення холодильників, да, в... А, в просто в провінції, які там в провінції Шандон, да, да, в найбільшу, найбільшу компанію угу, виробник холодильників, виробник холодильників у світі. У світі. Да, да, да. А. Так. Також, да? а, Також він Broaden uh, як перекладається? Розширив, розширив. А, розширив портфоліо. Хайер uh-huh. продає uh, більше uh, якби місцевої uh, місцевої домашньої техніки. Побутової техніки, ніж, побутової да, техніки, ніж, будь-яка, компанія. ніж будь-яка компанія у 19-ті продуктових категоріях у Китаї. І... Це четверта в світі це найбільша четверта компанія. Четверта в світі найбільша компанія. З... White Goods – це о, побутова техніка, да, яка о, виготовляє побутову техніку. Побутову да, техніку. Вона найбільша. І четверта в світі по продажах. Да, за продажами. Окей. So what lesson did the new boss when his employees to learn? Угу. Яна, what's your idea? Um, I'm not sure, but maybe he uh, wanted to show that, first of all, uh, there can't be like um, fridges with defects, and if there yeah. are, they, they must be destroyed, and they mm-hmm. uh, like, couldn't be sold to customers. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, you're, you're right, the quality of fridges was very low, yes, uh, and... Uh, Uh, the sales, therefore, were very low. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. maybe if you don't destroy the fridges, the market will destroy the company. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jana. And uh, so let's switch to the next uh, article. Так, так, так. Кто у нас тут еще не читал? Миша. Приходим до наступного. Mm-hmm. Uh, training leaders to connect the dots. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, firms navigating through turbulent markets face many challenges. Mm-hmm. One of the most uh, uh, daunting, daunting, daunting. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, is how to develop the executives to manage effectively. Executives. Executives. Mm-hmm. executives. Mm-hmm to manage effectively the range of uh, uh, diverse uh, threats and uh, opportunities uh, that um, uh, volatile, 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 volatile markets, markets generate. Yeah, mm-hmm. And uh, how to provide this executive education exactly. 
executive education yeah. in a way that offers good value for money and time. Money and time, enough, yes, seriously. Um, and the leaders uh, to connect the dots. Um, yeah, connect the dots. Что значит эта фраза? Я думаю, это. Да, connect the dots. Что значит эта фраза? Зараз чуть. Да, да, да. Connect the dots. Связок. Да, знайти связок, подивитися глобально на какие-то вещи, на проблему, да, в компании, з'єднати детали, да, глянути глобально на проблему. Так, добре. И для этого, да, мы сейчас прочитаем про тренинги, которые проводились в компании. Так, давайте первый параграф перекладаем. Навигационные фирмы. Нет, нет, нет. Фирмы, которые работали в... А, фирмы, которые работали через... На нестабильных рынках, да. На... Так, Миша. Угу. Я выбачаюсь. Продолжим. Um, так, фирмы, которые работают да, с системой стабильности рынка, да, стыкаются с Батма. С Батма проблемами. Угу, ну, точнее, что... Да. Проблемами, да. Проблемами. Угу. Один из наибольших uh... Одна из наибольших... Дзонтин, это такая гостра проблема, да? Або пугающая. Ну, хай будет гостро. Одна из наиболее гострых проблем, да? Одна из наиболее гострых, гострых про те, э, яка развивает свои... Не-не-не. Э... Одна из наиболее гострых проблем, все, что... Как? How to develop the executive? Как такие executive, Смеш? Executive э, да. выполнивающий. Да, Виконавчі директори, да? Виконавчі директори. Ага, виконавчі директори. Ген директори, виконавчі директори, да? Як? Так. Е як розвивати їхні... Е угу. Як навчати, ну, або навчити їх, да? Що зробити? Manage effectively. The range of the worst. Управляти ефективніше. Да. Е чи справлятися ефективно, да? За низкою різноманітних чого? Threats. Что такое threat? Загроза, да? Загроза, да? Так, да. Так, да. Mm -hmm. Можно достичь, что... Да, Волатайм-маркет-генерит. Який генерує, створює, да? Який? Рин... Які ринки? Волатайл. Волатайл. Uh... Нестабильные ринки, да? Волатильные. Они такие прикладают. Нестабильные, так. Да, так. да або нестабильные ринки. Угу. Які генерують нестабильные ринки. Так, далее. Uh... И как э, обеспечить эти выканавчи, чи эту выканавчу освіту? Э... Я бы трошки парафразовала, сказала, как организовать процесс навчання гендиректоров таким способом, да, що... таким способом, что запропонує гарну, э... так сказать. Чтобы это навчання, оно стоило вытраченных а, грошей и часу. Так, и часу. Да? Угу. Потому что это очень ответственная позиция да, гендиректора. И вытрачать много часу может быть не очень эффективным. Потому что это было одним из важных вопросов. Да? Как организовать процесс саме так, чтобы это все окупалось. И стоило и потраченных грошей, и часу. Так, дякую, Миша. Дальше. Кто там у нас хотел? Паша Павличенко. Yeah. Uh, this training supplies make a higher is rising from an early bankrupt uh, collective enterprise 25 years ago to one of the most successful companies in China. Highest leaders have done many things well, among them setting up a productive system of formal executive education designed to produce versatile general energies that higher can deploy against a range of possible op op opportunities or threats. Китайский виробник бытовой техники Fire поднялся 
з майже банкротства. Так, угу. З 25 років до одного з найуспішніших компаній. Чи перетворився до банкрота в одну з найбільш успішних компаній Китаю. Далі. Лідери Хай розробили багато хороших речей. Mm-hmm. І, да, серед них м- творюють про- продуктивну систему, формальну. Ми створили, да, започаткували систему ос- ну, не освіти, а навчання для керівників. Да, для... Призначення mm-hmm. для виробництва. Дизайн. Що призначення? Загальних, загальних менеджерів. Ще, ще раз, design to produce versatile general managers для того, щоб... Для, ну, щоб, типу... М- щоб в кінці кінців можна було навчити да, навчити, uh, генеральних, да. генеральних менеджерів бути uh, універсальними, да, versatile, в даному випадку краще перекласти як універсальні, да, щоб її генеральні менеджери були універсальними, і щоб компанія Hire могла like. це робити звернути. Deploy against range of possible opportunities. Або можемо сказати, не компанія HR, а щоб ці трохи перефразувати генеральні менеджери, да, могли справитися з великою Я кількістю не можливих не загроз. Не та? не Також використати можливості, які можуть траплятися в майбутньому. Так, дякую, Паш. Далі. Оля. Um, when I visited Hare's headquarters in Quindal, in uh, mm-hmm. I interviewed the faculty that ran uh, their training center, as well as many uh, executives who particip- participated in the company's programs. Every Saturday morning, all Hare's senior executives based in China, totally more than uh, 70, um, attend Uh, a weekly training session. What training, you you may ask, could possibly justify half a day of here 70 more senior leaders? Hires. Hires. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Executives bring current current problems or opportunities to, to these sessions and working teams of six to eight to discuss their individual challenges, explore possible solutions, and discuss how best to implement uh, proposed changes. Okay, enough. Буде. Я відвідав штаб квартиру да, компанії Хайр. Я поінтерв'ював. Ну, в даному випадку, думаю, це буде відділення. Да? Відділення, яке ну, ви факультет не підходить, а відділення якраз підходить. Я варіант це роблю. І чого? Відділення, яке керувало тренінговим центром. Тренінговим центром. Також провів інтерв'ю з багатьох виконавчих директорів. Так, так. Ну, поговорив з ними, взяв в них інтерв'ю. Які беруть участь в програмах компанії. Кожен ранок, суботній ранок, всі головні виконавчі директори компанії знаходяться в Китаї. Так, загальна кількість. Відвідують дневий тренінг. Що за тренінг, які... Ви можете запитати, да, що ж саме буде за тренінг, який could possibly justify, який може виправдати, да? Half a day of hers. Більше, ніж що 70 головних лідерів компанії тратять аж цілих пів дня свого робочого, да? На... На ці тренінг, да, який же ж тренінг може це правда? Що там за такі наслідки, да, класні, що, що а, гендиратори можуть потратити з півдня. Да. Угу, далі. А, розказують е, поточні проблеми або можливості е, на цих е, заходах. Угу. І е, працюють в командах е, від 6 до е, 8. 
mm-hmm. для того, щоб а, обговорити їхні індивідуальні а, чаджі. А, проблеми, до якими проблеми. вони зіштовхуються на роботі. Okay. Да. Mm-hmm. Висвітлити можливі рішення. Mm-hmm. А, і обговорити, як найкраще а, застосувати. Так, так, так. Запропоновані зміни, да? Угу, дякую. Оля, так, далі. Єгор. Can you tell me where we stop? Where we stop? That's line uh, 44-0. Faculty, faculty mixes executives. This, okay. this faculty mixes uh, executives from different functions, mm-hmm. business units, and provinces to increase mm-hmm. the diversity of viewpoints and periodically uh, rejects uh, mm-hmm. the teams to keep them fresh. During the week, uh, executives, executives. Uh, executives mm-hmm. experiment yeah. with pro- proposed solutions and the report result back to their teammates in latest in later session discuss what worked and uh, didn't explore ways to refine uh, their actions mm-hmm. okay. um, uh, faculty faculty Да, да. Угу. Отдел... Це відео, який займається тренінгом, да? він що робить? Він мішає. Да, є, можна сказати, об'єднує гендиректорів, да, виконавчих директорів з різних. Да, з, з, різних... з різними ну, з функціями. Functions, як з сферами діяльності, да, да, компетенціями, з різними компетенціями. Разних відділів бізнесу да, і да, да, провінцій. Да. Щоб вирішити... Ні, ні, провінція тут не пойде. В даному випадку провінція, да, як сфера діяльності. Ну, да, да, так, так. Да. Щоб вирішити... Разні должності, э... разні, що там у нас бізнес-отділи і угу. разні компетенції. Так. Щоб вирішити... Э... Разна... Разнообразие. Разнообразие да, точок зрения і періодичні... Угу. Э... Реорганізовувати вучик. Да, мешать, ре- реорганизовывать ре- команды, чтобы угу. сохранять их свежесть. Ну, я бы добавила чуть-чуть, чтобы сохранять свежесть идей. Да? Так и так. Это... Угу. Да, на, на протяжении недели э... исполнительные директора, да, испол... исполнительные директора экспериментируют с угу. э, предложенными решениями и угу. э, э, отчитываются назад да. с результатами э, да. своим э, сокомандникам. Да, да. Э, и в последней сессии они обсуждают... Не-не-не, это туда же, это отчитываются они просто попозже, да, на следующих сессиях. То есть а, на, на текущей сессии они получают угу. какие-то предложения, да, и попозже отчитываются, насколько они были эффективными. Они угу. также Хорошо. обсуждают, что было проработано да. э, и что не... И что, что, что было и не было проработано, и э, угу. расширяют... Исследуют, да, исследуют какие способы, все, как же... Э, улучшить как... свои действия. Да, 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 да. Как улучшить те или иные действия в определенной ситуации. Хорошо, так, Егор. Отметила дальше. Денис, давайте, Янка. Um, this approach to executive uh, education confers uh, several benefits. Uh, first, it enables managers to understand uh, interactions between various parts of uh, the organization uh, and spot uh, opportunities uh, for productive collaboration. Uh, second, uh, ongoing exposure to the issues faced by different parts uh, of the business uh, helps executives to connect uh, the dots to understand uh, Uh, higher uh, situations as a whole, uh, rather than looking in the market uh, through the window of uh, their own uh, silo or silo. Silo, silo. Silo. Uh, so this approach um, uh, builds general management skills uh, by helping executives uh, 
uh, Hon, uh, the skills Hon. to organize uh, and deal with the range of challenges. Такой подход к обучению исполнительных директоров приносит несколько преимуществ. Во-первых, он позволяет менеджерам понять, как взаимодействует, ну, понять взаимодействие между различными частями организации да. и разглядывать возможности. Да, 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 определить возможности. Да. Определить возможности для продуктивного взаимодействия. Угу. А, Во-вторых, э, э, ну, поточное... Да, ознакомление с проблемами с которыми сталкиваются а, разные, ну, да, да, с компании. проблемами, с которыми сталкиваются разные части бизнеса, помогают э, да. директорам э, ну, ловить связь, чтобы да. понять да, глобально на вещи, да. глобально на, на ситуацию ну, в компании угу. Hires. Угу. Э, э, ну, посмотреть Нет, глобально, да. нежели чем смотреть просто на рынок через угу. э, окно их ну, я не знаю, что такое сайло. Сайло это вообще бункер, но эта фраза а, да, переводится как посмотреть со своей колокольни, да, нежели рассматривать конкретно свою э, точку зрения. Mm -hmm. да, скажем так. И в-третьих, такой подход э, как бы помогает развить общие э, э, навыки навык управления, да? Э, да, э, да. помогая директорам. Хоуна mm -hmm. оттачивать, да оттачивать свои навыки, да. свои навыки uh -huh. в распознавании и ну, управлении с разными Чтобы проблемами. Чтобы распознать проблемы, да, и понимать, как с ними справляться. Uh -huh. Да, спасибо. Денис, молодец. Дальше последняя часть. Так, Виталий, рынок. Так, здесь курсы о anything but academic in the pejorative sense of divorce mm -hmm. from practice. Mm -hmm. uh, faculty coaches provide tools and functional training closely linked to the challenges and opportunities at hand. They also have the executives uh, refine the... Executives refine mm -hmm. the action plan device practical ways to track progress and facilitate need course correction. Mm -hmm. uh, Dawn provides an ideal opportunity for companies to think how they can get the most value for their investment in the executive development. Mm -hmm. Так, хорошо, спасибо. И давайте нам переведет uh, Кирилл. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, эти курсы uh, практически, uh, ну, они uh, основаны только на академическом смысле? Не, 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 наоборот, uh, смотрите, anything but, они далеко не теоретические, да, в самом uh. негативной коннотации этого смысла, что они оторваны от практики, то есть далеко не теоретические, это наоборот, да, практически. Понял, вообще противоположно перевел. Да, да, да. да. Факультативные э, тренинги, они предоставляют э, инструменты да, и функциональные... Получишь. Тренера, да? Тренера. Mm -hmm. Тренера предоставляют инструменты и функциональные э, тренировки, э, mm -hmm. близко связанные с испытаниями и проблемами, а, проблемами на, на руку, которые, которые актуальны сейчас. Актуальные, да. Да. Они также помогают а, исполнять... А, Исполнительным refine... директорам, что сделать? Refine the action plan. Подкорректировать свой план действий, а, да? Да, да, да. План действий. Device. А, device. Разработать. Device. Разработать практически а, пути, чтобы отслеживать uh -huh. прогресс и... Да. А, ну, вообще, ускорять, но в данном случае способствовать лучше подойдет. И также они способствуют промежуточным корректировкам действий, да? Это корректировка вносит по ходу дела. Так, даунтерн... Это спад экономический. То есть времена, когда не очень все хорошо с экономикой, да, они обеспечивают... Спад ведет за собой идейную возможность 
для компании, чтобы идею, переосмыслить... Идейную. Идеальную, да? А, идеальную, идеальную, да. Возможность для компании переосмыслить, как они могут максимально влиять на их вложение в исполнительную разработку. Какой исполнительная разработка? Executive Development. Кто такие executives? Гендиректоры. Ну, почему разработка? А, их не вложение, вы гендиректоров, все, я понял. Да, да, в развитии гендиректоров, да, в обучении гендиректоров. Так, я смотрю, что время закончилось практически. Так, поэтому следующее задание будут на дом и проверю их на следующей паре. Получается, домой нам остается задание C на следующей страничке, задание D на следующей страничке и вопросы к тексту, которые чуть выше в задании B, да. Так, это остается домой, и баллы сейчас выставлю и отпущу вас. Так, <coughs> начну снизу своего списка. Так, Глеб Соболевский сегодня не активничал, поэтому получает один балл. Раз я вызвала, и то. Дальше Юнак активничал, 2,5. Никита, 2,5. Юра тоже активничал, 2,5. Артем, все хорошо. Так, Даня, Даня Саманю, полтора. Не сильно активничал. Саша Рухлядев отвечал. Ладно. Илья Плосток отвечал, но мало. Поставим тоже полтора. Дальше Саша Небло. Марина Умничка 2,5. Дальше Олег тоже 2,5. Молодец. Оля 2,5. Паша тоже отвечал. Так. Рина тоже отвечала много. 2,5. Миша. 2 поставлю. А, Руслан Нижинец. Руслан, был и сегодня? Конечно, был. Я отвечал, я руку поднимал. Ага. Так, ну не сильно много. Так, поставлю тоже полтора. Дальше Оксана отвечала. Все окей. Дальше музыка тоже отвечал. Я на отвечала, все не отвечала, Денис отвечал. А, так, Арсений. Полтора поставлю. Кирилл 2,5. Егор отвечал. Витя отвечал. Так, Тикарев нету. Голоптиона в руку поднимал, отвечал. У меня два плюсика. Окей, okay, 2.5. Так, дальше вынык. Просто нет. Василок НК. Правильно? Василок НК? Да. Так, и Даня по ДНК. Ну, ладно, хорошо. Тоже стоит. Два плюсика, хай буду. 2.5. Так, по поводу теста я еще не проверяла. Как проверю, то выставлю. Потом скажу ваши баллы. Еще раз домашнее задание. Вопросы к тексту, которые чуть выше в задании B. Дальше следующая страничка задания C и задание D. Так, на сегодня можете быть свободны. Хорошего вечера.